Who here with Peter Hewton from Mersey Music Magazine? And The Farm have just released a new single, Feel the Love. So, Peter, has it gone down well? Oh, it's gone down absolutely brilliantly, you know, the reaction we've had. Uh, I mean, it's a song we've had in, you know, we recorded a few years ago, but we have, since the lockdown, we decided that all these songs that we've had in the last two or three years, we get them out onto streaming platforms. We thought, they're just sitting there, let's get them out. And that's what we decided to do. So we're going to release you know, a single every month to every six weeks for the foreseeable future. Because we've got like about uh, seven or eight songs ready to go, really, you know. So when uh, were these written? These were written over the last uh, three or four years, you know. Okay. Uh, well, five years probably. But, you know, obviously with lockdown, I took two years out of it. Uh, and we were, we've always wanted to release stuff, but I think it's a confidence thing. We started playing these at festivals this year, and they were going down great. They were going down nearly as good as, uh, as our hits. So we thought, let's get them out then. And then Keith got in touch with Ditto Music, which is a local music uh, platform, and said, look, you know, and they said, yeah, we'd love to, and they've heard the stuff, and some of the stuff that's coming up, you know. Uh, you know, we're really pleased with it, you know, and I think it's going to surprise a few people, you know. We haven't gone away. In terms of new, Mersey Music Magazine usually focuses on up and coming artists rather than the farm. Yeah. How, how do you see the music scene in Liverpool on the rise again? Jamie Webster's obviously gone to the top, but there's a lot of good bands out there. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic to see the success Jamie's had. Um, also, Red Rum Club. Me and Carl Hunter, we've given their bit of advice a few years ago telling them you know what you should do shouldn't do you know and uh, they just ignored it all and did their own thing <laughs> now I mean they did take it on board because their manager George Wilson he's a good mate of ours so we were saying basically just get in touch with the best promoter you know in the, in, in the city you know the, the best uh, record company in the city and and try and nurture relationships with them and that's what they've done and Red Drum Club are doing really well now uh, Carl is like an A&R person, Carl Hunter, and I say to Carl, I said, uh, you know, when you get, you know, when you get them record deals, you know, you must, surely you're on a percentage, you know, he just loves doing it, he literally loves doing it, so Carl, he, you know, he's like the unpaid talent scout for the uh, city of Liverpool, you know, and he's working with a, a load of young lads called uh, Keyside, you know, and getting them gigs and, and Getting them ins into the into the music industry, and I think they've just signed to Modern Sky. Uh, and I said, "Carl, you must be out of drops here, a percent." He went, yeah, "I just love doing it, you know." And that's what it is. He's like, he's a missionary almost. He's, he wants working class kids from the same background as him to be given a chance, because we all know over the last you know couple of decades, uh, music's tended to go towards you know privately educated uh, people. And um, Carl is just champion in the working class of, of the country. And lastly, if you had advice for any new musicians in terms of trying to get out there and play live, what would you say? Just make contacts? Yeah, I think it's, it's dead important to make contacts with the good promoters in the city and everyone knows who they are, you know. Make contacts with them, you know, and even if... It's like when we had a, a chance to go to a beat in 1990, our manager said, we're going to Ibiza in 1990, but you're not getting paid. And there was a bit of a, a revolt in the pan. What do you mean we're not getting paid? He said, no, believe me, this is good for you. So you've got to do things which might be uncomfortable at the time. But I'm sure a lot of groups know that. At a recent gig, the Red Drum uh, Club, I mean, boot was like a tropical, uh, tropical climate now, because we got a tropical storm when it got rained off when we were playing. Uh, with the Zootons and it got rained off and then a few weeks later uh, Red Rum had the same problem so some of the support bands couldn't play Red Rum did play some of the support bands couldn't play and the Cheap Thrills decided to go to a pub and walk and by not supporting Red Rum, Red Rum Club that night they went to walk and it was chaotic scenes and it reminded me uh, of early farm gigs really did remind me of a, pack, a pub packed full of people having a great time and that went viral almost, I think, on the internet. Loads of people sharing it. So the very fact that they got rained off, you know, it was like serendipity. You know, it actually improved 
their image and improve their uh, their appeal because it was just going everywhere because they've gone to a pub and they've done it because they couldn't play, you know. So it's things like that and it's haphazard things like that happens here, you know, as a, as a group. And you just got to go with the flow. I mean, people are saying to us, oh, why didn't you go to a pub after the Bootle thing? Well, it's the Champions League final that night. 